okay this is uh, top 23 because uh, my dumbass forgot to record um anyways this is it and they're saying show that dy by dx is this okay first of all uh, this is an equation where you have this separated from this and we have to when you want to differentiate to find dy by dx or in other words y prime you need to use implicit differentiation now first of all i'm gonna like distribute because this is sort of ugly so i'm gonna make it x cubed minus 3x squared y plus y cubed is equal to 1 so this is the first step now let's impl let's differentiate this implicitly x cubed will become 3x i'm gonna write uh differ differential so it's like 3x squared uh, minus this is product rule 3x squared y to differentiate it we're going to use product rule we're going to set u to be 3x squared and v to be y so u prime will be 6x v prime will be y prime all right so minus u prime v so 6xy plus v prime u so y prime 3x squared so 3x squared y prime plus y cubed differential of y cubed will be 3y squared and don't forget since it's y you have to multiply by y prime all right equals 1 will be 0 differential of 1 is 0 all right nice and easy so 3x squared let's uh, distribute so minus 6xy plus 3x squared y prime plus 3y squared y prime equals 0 now we want an expression for y prime solely all right um I'm, i think i'm gonna mute my desktop audio because it's a, it's a bit too loud Okay, it's way better. All right. Uh, so over here, three x squared minus six x y plus three x squared y prime plus three y squared y prime equals zero. You want to make it an expression for y prime alone. So what do you do? I told you guys to do this. Every time you want y prime alone, you just move everything that doesn't have to do with y prime to the other side and keep everything that has a y prime on one side. So it's going to be three x squared y prime plus three y squared y prime equals six x y minus 3x squared all right so what's the idea now what are we gonna do we're gonna factor out y prime because we want y prime to be alone so since all the y primes are together we can just factor it out so it's gonna come like this then divide this on the other side so you're gonna get 6xy minus 3x squared over 3x squared plus 3y squared 3 minus 3y squared a, I forgot when I distributed the minus here. I didn't. I don't know why I made this plus. All right, this is a minus. All right, cool. So we got this. Now, obviously, they want it to be like this, and this does not look like this. So what do we do? As you can see, we have three in common and everything. So let's divide by three. So it's like saying three out, and um, factor the three up. You're gonna get six, so you're gonna get two xy minus x squared over factor three here x squared minus y squared. Um, what you're gonna get cancel this and this. You're gonna get two xy minus y squared over x squared minus y squared. Now the problem is here they have it. Um, so this is x squared. They have it the other way around. So I think I messed up with the signs somewhere here. Um, maybe x cubed minus 3x squared y plus y cubed 1. I'm just checking if I messed up the sign somewhere. Um, I don't know how that would become positive. Let me check. All right. If, uh, I just proofread my solution a bit. Uh, with this minus should have been here. This the one here, it should go down here. Oh, this was a plus. So I see now why I messed up. So this should have been like this. And this should have been, yeah, I mean, when I take it to the other side, it should have been the other way around. So let's like fix this at the end a bit. Factoring out y prime, you're gonna get y prime into negative 3x squared plus 3y squared equals 6xy minus 3x squared then divide you're gonna get 6xy minus 3x squared over negative 3x squared plus 3y squared now factoring out the 3 on up and down you're gonna get 2xy minus x squared over mm, x squared negative x squared plus y squared 
canceling you're gonna get this so you're gonna see you know this is the opposite it's the opposite on top with the opposite on the bottom how do you fix that all you have to do is just f when you see something like this and you know, on top it's the opposite or on the bottom it's the opposite all you have to do is just factor out negative 1 both up and down factoring out negative 1 it's gonna become the opposite negative 2xy plus x squared over factor out negative 1 x squared minus y squared so now is the bottom the same yes is the top the same yes and obviously this just cancels all right so then you can say shown then part b find the exact coordinates of the two points where the gradient is negative one so basically when this equals negative one so how do we do that yani minus 2xy plus x squared over x squared minus y squared is equal to what? Negative 1. Alright, sorry, I, I read it again. Where they said the gradient of the normal is negative 1. So it doesn't mean y prime is equal to negative 1. Remember, if the normal... No, this is wrong. Normal is negative 1. Yani, what will the tangent be? Isn't it negative 1 over whatever the normal is? And you get 1. So that means m tangent is 1. So you don't set your y prime equal to negative 1. You set it equal to 1. Okay, not negative. You set it to positive 1. So y prime has to be equal to positive 1. So basically, this has to be equal to 1. So minus 2xy plus x squared over x squared minus y squared equals 1. So that means minus 2xy plus x squared equals x squared minus y squared. Because I just cross multiplied here. Yeah? This cancels with this. You're going to get y squared my equals... Sorry, y squared plus 2xy is equal to 0. Type OK, you get this, cool. Factor out y, you get y plus 2x is equal to 0. But uh, sorry, hey, uh, the it's a negative y squared. Okay, so it's going to become a negative y plus 2x. I forgot the negative here, huh? I just saw it now. So what two solutions do you get? y is equal to 0, or negative y plus 2x is equal to 0. So this will be any y is equal to 2x. So you got two points. 0 and 2x. How do you figure out which is which? You go back up here and you figure out what is the coordinates. So easy. So let's figure it out. For 0, y equals 0, we just substituted. So it's going to be x squared x minus 0 plus 0 equals 1. So find x, it's going to be x cubed is equal to 1. So therefore x is equal to 1. So the first point we have is 1 comma 0. Type. The second point we substitute y by 2x. So over here, we're going to substitute it by 2x, right? So x squared, x minus 3 into 2x, plus 2x cubed, equals 1. Let's fix it. This is going to be 6x, so minus 6x here. Yeah? x squared outside, plus, we're just going to change this to 8x cubed, equals 1. Type this x minus 6x is going to be negative 5x plus 8x cubed equals 1. x squared times negative 5x is negative 5x cubed plus 8x cubed equals 1. You add them, you get 3x cubed equal 1. Divide by 3, you get x cubed equal to 1 over 3. So x is equal to cube root 1 over 3. All right? So that means you have two points. The one zero that we found already, and then 1 over cube root 1 over 3 comma what's y it's 2x so 2 cube root 1 over 3 so these should be your two points all right i hope this makes sense thank you so much for watching and uh, good luck in your exam okay